This is a Toyota GR86, and I think it's about the best way to spend roughly 30 grand on a modern, new performance car. But there is a problem with that, Matt. The problem is, not everyone's got 30 grand, true. and if they did, this is sold out, so also you can't true. even buy it. But I think I've got an answer. Walk with me, walk with me. Go it's rear-wheel drive. Yep. Sports car. Yep. Manual gearbox. Yep. It's got to be. Of course. It's got to be an, an MX5. MX5. And the best thing about this, Matt, it's a tenth of the price of yours. So your GR's 30 grand, this was 3,000 pounds. Possibly as fun. Maybe even more fun. Should we do top trumps? Top trumps. Power. 158 horsepower. 224. Okay, you got me there. Weight. A 1275-ish. 1080. Yep. I got you there. But they're both rear wheel drive. Yep. They're both manual gearboxes. They've both got limited slip diffs. Let's go and drive them. Right. Let's go. I don't want to die today, no, please. Won't. Trust me, trust me. Oh, yes. Oh, we're going round. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good point to stop, isn't it? <laughs> so, GR86, yeah. I think I'm right in saying you have not driven one of these before, have you? Correct, no, first time in one of these, but I've only heard good things, Matt. So these are, what are they, 230 horsepower? 224 in old money. Key thing is 22% more torque. It's got and a lot also, of low down torque. Yeah, but as well, they saw that the chassis, like the old GTA 6, everyone's like, oh, it's got, it had Michelin Primacy tyres on the hot. Oh, the, the, same. the Prius tyres. Prius tyres, Prius tyres, yeah. Whoa, yes! There you go. Jeez, and everyone's like, like, oh, this means you're not going to drift anymore, which actually is bull because I'm sure as you know, you actually want grippy proper tyres because otherwise you need a bit of control when it's sideways, don't you? Like this. Like that. Yeah. Oh, that is nice! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that engine really sorted it out, but also there's loads of chassis stuff, not just the tyres, as I've mentioned. <laughs> yeah, plenty of chassis stuff as well. Obviously, I think, I think it looks better as well. That's annoying though. I'd have to get that point. So did you hear it? beeping, yeah. Red yeah. line, yeah. Oh, the red line beep. Every time I hit your seat on, you f I have. <laughs> <laughs> you made it three laps. Most cars, most rear wheel drive cars, BMWs, Audis, Mercs, there's so much going on yeah. electronic wise. If, I feel like now we've turned everything off. Yeah. It's just you and the car, isn't it? But and, actually, it, the, and, and the chassis feels really really playful might just tip yeah, it in I here. think people have dyno tested these and I think they have gone probably a little bit <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die today no, please. Please. trust me trust me Rock I like this. though buying one yeah not expensive or not too expensive I appreciate not everyone has 30 grand to spend but even if you do I mean, these are basically sold out. I think there was like another allocation coming. Whether or not that's probably sold out as well to all the people who are on the waiting list the first time. I think that means we need to pay a bit more attention to our used contender. Yeah. For a real wheel drive fun equivalent. If it's any good. Yeah. Now we're in the cheap one, Matt. In the cheap one. In the MX-5. So this is the NC 2007. 2 litre sport model. So 6 speed gearbox, living slip diff as standard, and compared to the 86, it's soft. But this isn't this is not just any NC though, is it? This is mine, Matt! Please remember that as you're ragging the nuts off it. I've seen the way you drive this. <laughs> this is probably like the hardest worked. Most ragged NC, Most standard ragged NC, NC there is. Brake man! This found the brake pedal. This brakes are alright actually. It's got some good yeah. nice pads in this. Straight out of the box. This is pretty good. Really and I know it's soft. And how and good they were. I know it's soft and it pitches and dies, but to me that's part of it. That's what well, makes this car so good. Like when you lift, you can feel it yeah. tuck in. Yes! Man's on fire! I like it. It's a bit of noise, isn't there? The old roof. There is a bit. He's thrown it in. I'm clinging onto the door handle, but with two hands. Come on, come on, get around, watch. come on, get it around. I can't watch. My poor car. One more lap, one more lap, one come more. on then. I think oh, no, you can't say that, that's I always dangerous. Fun. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm not. Understand. Oh shit. Understand. Go on now. Go on now. Go on now. Oh we've we've held it. We've held it. <laughs> You're an animal. Like it's done 80,000 miles. Oh yes. Oh my God. That's probably a good point to stop, isn't it? <laughs> that is so good. I think we were heading towards that moment from about the <laughs> from two the laps ago. we pulled out the fence. Yeah, that was inevitable. That is fantastic. I've got an ABS light as well. Oh, you broke it. Very you broke, broke it. it. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm, I'm to sorry. be honest, there's not many cars you can get in, no. grab by the scruff of the neck like that, play with them, and yeah. get to the limits so easily. Yeah. And feel that it's kind of like so easy to get there and progressive to get there. 
All right, you went over it a bit. Yeah. Honestly, Matt, that was spectacular. There are any skid marks there, look. It was good fun. I love, you're, you're such an intense driver. When you're, when you're on it, like, everything's on it. Yeah, <laughs> I do this face, I go like. Yeah. <laughs> the white knuckles come yeah. out. Yeah. Oh my days, yes. Right, drag race, MX-5, 158 horsepower, GR86, 230 horsepower. So the last time we did one of these, there was a massive power deficit. This time, not as big. So Matt's got another 70 horsepower over me, but I've got weight on my side. So we're comfortable, which obviously is important. Matt's faffing around. Stop faffing! Unlike his car, I can actually adjust this for rake as well, which is nice, not rake, reach, there we go. Oh, I'm adjusting my steering wheel position. It makes a big difference in a drag race where you don't steer. Pretty good, I've ditched him, I've gapped him, I've absolutely gapped him. Terrible start, never mind. Oh, he's coming now. Oh, he's got me back. He's gone. I tell you what though, little MX-5, you did me proud. How far behind were you? A couple of car lengths. Not How bad, far then. behind were you at the start? Quite far behind. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was pretty good. I think lightweight helped off the line. Yeah. And then power. Power rules absolutely. It does, yeah. No surprises there. So now, time for a slalom. Hang on. I've just found this in my door pocket. I can put it on brand. <laughs> Look at that. The GR beanie. I feel like I should be like in the middle of Wales somewhere by a rally stage. Right, count, count me in then, strange hat man. Uh, three, two, one, go. Oh, it was a bit slower for that. I left the traction right, control so. on as well. Right, first Even gear. run than I got. This feels very tight, this slalom. Handbrake. Oh, oh, just. Oh, oh, traction God, control, no. traction That's control. Traction control that says no. We've got through about killing any cones. Something's happened. And across the power. line, 19.4. Won't give me any power. Do you want to run that again without traction control? Should we do one? Ready. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Good start. Tidy off the start oh, this yeah. time, yeah? All right, first gear, neat and tidy. No cones. Avoid the penalties. Round the last one. Little handbrake. That is better. Oh, no, too oh, much. No. Too much. I hope the cones to the life. This Come on, GR. Come, Come on, GR. On. Quicker though, I think that's quicker, 17.4. Nice, 19. Four. Yeah, there you go, massive quicker. Two seconds quicker, oh, solid. What? Cones are still intact, look. What is the MX-5 going to do? No Not penalty. killed any cones, no, well done. No cone penalty. So in theory now, home field advantage, you know this car. Yeah, this is... I might, might tip it in the, in the uh, favour and also, if I may say so, Yeah. A bit sloppy, the other end. Yeah, the turn, the no, we went a bit big, didn't we? we went a bit too Not big. Angry, just disappointed. Right, count me in. Three, three two, one, go. Tidy up the line. First gear. Oh, oh she rolls. rolls. She oh rolls. my god. So I'm going to be seasick in a minute. <laughs> oh, not the best. Oh, no. Not the best. That oh. breaks too much. Oh, no. Too wide. Oh, no. I think that was, that come slowed on, us down. What's the verdict? 17.1. Oh! Even with the slightly Why? wide Why burst, that is, yes. Why was it quicker? Well, I less think... Less power, more roll. But less weight. Less weight. Less weight. Yeah. And I think it was a bit of a wider turn at the end, but yeah. in the GR, it was too much. And we yeah. spent a long time bringing it back in line, so I think that probably cost us. Next test is the most important test of any car's abilities. The handbrake turn into the donut. Handbrake, one donut. Oh, don't stop, don't stop. Yes, dialed it out. I think that was pretty good. And right, brake, handbrake. Oh, wow. Oh, too easy, these tyres have no grip. Oh, too easy. So just before we go on to the next challenge, I'd like to have a bit of a walk around. What you mean is you're going to rip my car apart? A little bit. Like, I mean, what the... Be what nice. The fuck? Be nice. Is that real carbon fibre there? Carbon fibre? Carbon fibre. And fiber. What, what is going on here? Yeah, there's been... Oh, right, it's done 80,000 miles. It's 2007. 
Even so, <laughs> so who's been like putting the kit? Well, one, why the presumably means the central locker, the remote central locker doesn't work. It works, got, no, Matt, it works. Like it works perfectly, trust me. Hood's the hood, the hood's a bit mouldy. It'll clean up, it'll polish out. It's three grand. Is there some more patina here? So if you're spending about three grand, you've, this is what you're going to have to expect. Is it a bit of, you can expect. should we call it character, diplomatically? Expect a bit of patina. Ooh. May I introduce Ooh. you? Yeah. The guy I bought it off said that when he was washing the car, he put the bucket on the bonnet. Which is, of course, what you do. Absolute plum. So, yeah, right, it's not in perfect condition, but it is three grand, no, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Right, so you ready? Fast lap, I've got our sophisticated timing equipment at the ready. Right, let's do this. Gangly man's going to count me in. Three, two, one, go! Second gear, right, get your braking point right for the hairpin. Leave it in second, brake late. Turn in wide. Oh, it's so soft. Use all the track, use all the track. That's a bit much track, it's fine. Out wide, turn it in. Come on, old girl, get in. Slightly wide the apex. Right, late turn in for the left-hander onto the back straight. Second gear, I think. Let's get it in, late apex, late apex. There it is, bit of understeer. Use all the track on the exit, nice. Let's go, right, down the long back straight, flat out the whole way. Quick shift, go well past the brake marker, forget about that. Brake there, third gear, get it turned in. Patient on the throttle, patient, bit of understeer, ran a bit wide, use all the track. Go for the line, come on RX-5, you got it, come on, cross the line. What does it say then? What do you reckon? Um, so, uh, FN2 around here did something like a 101, 102, yeah. didn't it? So this is going to be slower. So I'm going to say 103. 102. Oh. 102.39. That's pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good. Can I just say as well? Yeah. It does smell a bit in here. Bit mouldy. Bit mouldy? It was a bit damp, Matt, when I a bought it. A bit damp? It. Yeah. It's drying though, trust me, it's drying. Yeah. Shall we see what the other one can do? Right, so, you must contain yourself. Neat and tidy, neat and, neat and tidy. tidy. Unagi, neat and tidy. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. No, no, no drift or drift. No hooliganism straight straight. on this lap. I'll yeah. see what I can do, Matt. See what you can do. Let's go. Right, once again, sophisticated timing equipment is activated. Come on then, GR86, see what you got. Three, two, one, go. Not a bad start, little bit of wheel spin, not too much, up to second, we're going to need third, just about, and then on the brakes, get second gear, brakes are good, brakes are strong, right, no oversteer, no oversteer, come on, keep it in check, keep it in check. It's so much flatter, it's not like it's a mega stiff car anyway, but that MX-5 was like, <laughs> bit late, bit late, get it back in, it's going to be a good exit, neat and tidy, Woo! <laughs> Right, late apex. What do you reckon? Second? It's kind of between the two. Carry the speed in. No oversteer. Neat and tidy. Get the apex. All the track. Nice. Stop telling me to change up. I know. I know. Right, flat out. Spot our brake marker. Don't miss the brake point. Hard on the brakes. Hazard lights are on. Get it turned in. Get it turned in. No oversteer. Patient on the throttle, Alex. Patient. Use the track. That was nice. Come on, what we got? What we got? Over the line. You know what? That felt frigging good. I got high hopes for that one. I'll tell you what, Matt. That yes. felt good. It looked that good. felt good. Neat and tidy. Yep. I'm going to say 58. 59.6. Solid. Good so chunk we, quicker. We dipped under the what minute. Was, what was the FL5 Type R? The FL5 Type R did a 57. 57. So it's about two seconds two slower seconds, than that. But then this has got about 100 brake less. So it's done very well, actually. Yeah. And it's three seconds quicker than the MX-5. Not bad. Not bad. With all our challenges done, all that's left to do is total up the scores. Final scores then. Uh, again, the, the our wonderful Dacia the Jogger Crew Dacia, car. Yeah. So um, let's top them up. So GR86 on the top. Lap time, GR86 won by about win. three seconds. Quite a lot, actually. So that gets a point there. Drag race. Well, the MX5 got a better start. Yeah. I basically, I gapped your ass off the line, didn't I? Yes, I did. It was a, it was a poor start. I'll but give you that. You got me at the end. But I got you in the end. So one for the GR86 on the drag. Coolness. 
Talk to Copies me, right? Come on, M MX5. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying it's right that people think that, but it doesn't have the best reputation. It doesn't have the best rep, but it's my car. I can't say my own car's not cool, so I'm going to have to give myself a point. And well, you're sticking well. one I'll as well. I'll get a point as well. All right, okay. Because who cares? Slalom. The MX5 won the slalom. Yeah, surprise that. So we'll give a point to the MX5 for that one. for botching your going to GRX6. I did rules the rules, so whatever. Handbrake turn. MX5 won that as well. It was better, yeah. One point there. This Neater. Is one, two, three, one, two, three. So value. It's a three grand car. It's got to be the MX5. I love the GR86. I think it's brilliant, but three grand, you can't argue with that. Final scores. GR86, one, two, three. So three for the 86. MX5, one, two, three, four. Four for the MX5. Dead. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Please do like and subscribe up here. We've got more videos over here and also go to carsbottle.com for our latest news, features and general good stuff. Right, see you later, Matt. Nice glasses! <laughs>